Tonight in Crisis in the Classroom, a battle over books in your child's school library. Thanks for tuning in to Middle Tennessee's only primetime newscast. I'm Scott Couch. And I'm Megan O'Halloran. It's an issue that state lawmakers have forced local school districts to deal with. I think that we need to scrutinize what our children are learning. A new state law bans all books that contain obscene language or images from a school library, no matter the context, and it's up to school leaders to weed them out. Fox 7, Fox 17 News' Caitlin Miller now live at the public library downtown with the very latest on this ongoing debate. Scott, Megan, you can check out these two books, Beloved and Homegoing, from most public libraries. But you might not be able to check out these two books from the school libraries in Rutherford County after tomorrow night's vote. These are the seven books that could soon be banned from Rutherford County School Libraries. Popular titles, some argue, should be available for students of a certain age. We shouldn't have any books in our libraries that are sexually explicit. I don't see the need for it. Rutherford County School Board member Caleb Tidwell wants all of these books banned. One of them, Beloved, is about a woman who recalls her life as a slave. Tidwell points out the book contains sexual activity, violence, and racial commentary, among other things. One passage reads, quote, The new girl they dreamed of at night and cows for at dawn while waiting for her to choose. It was over before they could get their clothes off. Anything inappropriate that that a young child's eyes, in our opinion, should not see, so should never be put on a shelf. Brenda Baggett is a grandmother who supports some kind of restriction, and she believes parents should have a say. The Rutherford County Book Review website points out the profanity and derogatory terms in Beloved. But some feel banning these books reduces the quality of education and sense of history. We have plenty of books to cover a large range of topics, including a lot of the topics that are addressed in most of these books. Uh, so that won't be missing either. Uh, and also, I think that there are some uh, effects to exposing children to sexually explicit material uh, below a certain age. But where do you draw the line? That's the question school leaders will have to answer. Now, the Rutherford County School Board will vote on these two books along with the other five at tomorrow night's meeting. They will allow public comment at the beginning of the meeting, followed by the vote. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Caitlin Miller, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.